Thank you for trying G Reminders. The following is a quick overview of our software to help you get started. Let's start with your Google or Outlook calendar, where you keep your schedule. You can see the same appointments that are on your calendar are on the main screen of G Reminders. To get to this screen, or to refresh it, just click on the G Reminders logo. When you see a bell next to a calendar event, it means that reminders have or will be sent on that event. The number next to the bell indicates how many reminders. Starting with the main menu on the left, you can indicate which calendars to send reminders on and which calendars to check your availability against. Depending on the paid plan you choose, you can connect either 5 or 10 calendars per user. Next are reminders, starting with your client reminder templates. To set up a new template, click the New Client Reminder Template button. You can create initial, follow-up, or regular reminders. Your reminder can go out to all events or you can use advanced criteria to send reminders based on the event title, calendar, location, whether a client has confirmed an appointment, even based on the time of the appointment. For example, you could schedule a separate reminder to go out to appointments scheduled on or after 5 p.m. and include special information for after-hour meetings in the reminder. The bottom line is you can create quick generic reminders or very specific reminders, whichever is best for you. Below client reminders on the menu are personal reminders. You have the same options here. For example, you could create a reminder based on when a client fails to confirm an appointment and send a text message alerting a staff member by including their phone number in the reminder template. The next area is for clients who wish to use G Reminders automated scheduling. Under Share My Link, you can view a video that will help you learn how and where to share event links. When you select event types for the first time, you can view a video that will help you understand how to create either one-on-one -on -one or group events that your clients can schedule with you online. This is how the area will look once you set up events. They can be set up in minutes using the event template. Your online schedule, complete with a custom banner, will look something like this. And when your clients schedule with you, the appointment will appear on your Google or Outlook calendar almost instantly. Working hours allows you to determine when clients are able to reschedule with you. You can also determine rules for when to allow reschedules or cancellations. Under the Host Notification menu, select how you would like to be notified of new bookings, confirmations, reschedules, cancellations, or when someone replies to you with more information than a simple confirmation. Look and Feel lets you customize the look of your online scheduling page as we saw earlier. Next is Teams. You'll need to have two or more users to use the Team feature. Teams is a powerful feature that allows you to schedule round robin or all together. A short video will help you set up your first team event. Under My Contacts, you can enable contact matching. This way, if you add John Smith to your calendar, for example, and he is in your contact database, G Reminders will know what phone number or email to send reminders to. If you don't use contact matching, make sure you always have a phone number or an email in your calendar event if you put the event on your calendar directly. The system needs to have a phone number or email in order to send reminders. If you are an administrator on the account, you have additional items on your menu. Under General, you can override the user notifications we discussed earlier and control them from the organization level. The same is true for client reminders. If you want to control client reminders for your entire organization, select Override All User Client Reminders. Keywords can add convenience to your scheduling. Learn how to set them up by watching the video. 
you can invite new users to your account under the user menu. GReminders also integrates with many powerful applications that you may already use. Check them out here. Usage reports are very handy to see what your current usage is, and you can check logs to ensure individuals have received their reminders under the Delivery Log menu. Under Organization Look and Feel, you can upload a favicon to your scheduling page and override user settings for colors. You can see what phone numbers your reminders are being sent from, and depending on the plan you choose, you may wish to use a dedicated phone number for your SMS reminders. If you're sending reminders outside your own country, select the countries here. The Opt Out section allows you to quickly indicate phone numbers or emails to block from receiving reminders. Or you can select keywords that you include in a calendar event to block, like regularly scheduled internal meetings. Under Advanced, select where you would like GReminders to look for phone numbers, emails, and where to match keywords and contacts in your calendar event. Then, of course, there's the Billing section where you can purchase a GReminders plan that's right for you. In the top right-hand corner of the screen is your profile information, and next to that is our Help Center. You can begin here for help, but we're always just an email away from answering your questions. Finally, make sure to sign up for a complimentary one-on-one -on -one system setup with one of our customer success representatives. They'll share with you tips and ideas for your specific situation. Let us know if we can help further. Happy scheduling!